Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at using dates within the if function. I want to test whether a date is before or after another date. I also want to test whether a date is in the past or in the future. So in my first example, I've got a list of people and the last submission they made and then their submission deadlines. And I want to find out whether the submission was on time or not. Now I'm going to do a little test here to compare these two dates. And you can use normal comparison operators to compare dates because dates are stored as numbers in Excel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, is the last submission date before or equal to? Now before is the less than symbol after is the greater than symbol. So I want to say, is the last submission date before or equal to the submission deadline? If I press enter, I get a true. So we can see that this submission was on time. If I copy this down, I get a false where the submission wasn't on time. Let's do this the other way around. If I delete these tests, and I could say, is the submission deadline after or equal to the last submission date? So after is the greater than symbol. If I copy that down again, I'll get the same results as before. Now, if I want to convert these true and falses to on time or not on time, then I can use an if statement. If I write if, open bracket before my test, you can see that the first argument within the if statement is logical test, which is what we have here. A logical test is an expression that resolves to true or false. Then the next argument is value if true. So that would be on time in our scenario. And then the value of false, which is the last argument, would be not on time. Now notice the on time and not on time, they're text values, so they go in double inverted commas or speech marks. I close the bracket there, press enter, copy this down, and then get a text status for each of these submissions. Let's move on to the next example. Now in this example, the submission date is the same for each of our people here. And I'm going to hard code or write the date directly into the formula. So let's start with the test. I'm going to say, is the last submission date before, so that's less than or equal to the 15th of May 2021? Now, if I press enter, I get a false. It can't be right because the 2nd of the 5th is before that date. And if I copy this down, I get falses all the way down. So writing in a date like this doesn't work. Now there's two ways around this. What you can do is put your date in quotation marks and then add a zero. Then it will work. So you put your date in quotation marks and then add a zero. The other way to do it, I'll write the same test. So the other way to do it is to put the date within the date value function. So you can see the date value converts the date in the form of text to a number that represents the date in Microsoft Excel date time code. Well, in other words, it converts it to a proper date. You need to put the date in quotation marks, close the bracket, press enter, and that also will work. So you've got two methods that will work fine if you're hard coding your dates into your formula. And again, I can put this in an if, and I can say, if this is true, it's on time. Otherwise, it's not on time. Let's move on to the final example I want to give you. And with this one, very simply, we want to find out whether the deadline has been reached. The date for me at the time of recording is the 19th of May, 2021. And I want to find out whether these submissions are due. Now the way to do this, and I'll just write a little test initially, is to say, is this deadline 
less than or equal to, so before or equal to today's date. Now the way to return today's date in a formula is to use the today function, equals today and then a pair of empty brackets. And if I press enter and copy this down, you can see that every date that is in the past gets a true and every date that's in the future gets a false. So in our example here, these trues are overdue. So I'm going to put this with an if, and I'm going to say overdue. And that again goes in quotation marks because it's a text value. And for my value of false, I'm just going to leave an empty text string. So two double inverted commas, uh, nothing in between. I press enter, copy this down. You can see that wherever the submission is overdue, I get an overdue status. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.